Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day in my life. Now today, like usual, I will be bringing you around our little fake homestead in the city and sharing with you the things that we have been up to, including giving you an update on our home renovation. Dan is nearing the end, it's very exciting. I'll be sharing food that I ate. You know I'm obsessed with food. It's been snowing, I have been continuing recovery from throwing out my bag. So all very exciting things. Now, speaking of snow and cold weather, today's video is sponsored by Josie Marin. So shout out to you, Josie Marin. I love Josie Marin's products. Honestly, this is one of my favorite lines in general. All of her products feel amazing. Now, I'm sure a bunch of you have heard me rave on and on about Josie Marin, but if you haven't, I'm here to tell you about the brand. Josie Marin is dedicated to creating clean skincare and beauty products that are suitable for all skin types. Their products are cruelty-free and made without any synthetics. Their argon oil, which is kind of one of their core ingredients, is amazing. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend it. It's definitely my favorite oil. I honestly feel like their products help to keep my skin feeling healthy and glowy during these cold months. I like to rotate and kind of add different products from their line when I feel like my skin needs it. So whether that's the argon milk or the argon oil or both, I just kind of see how my skin feels and adjust. So if you would like to check out Josie Marin and you want to use my link, I would appreciate it. It's in the info box. You can see the products available on their site as well as Sephora and Sephora Canada. All right, guys, so we are making our way to our backyard. So if you're new to my channel and you didn't know this, we had a patio on the back of our house that we decided to convert into an extra room. So for the last year, Dan has been doing this project himself. He has never done anything like this. I mean, he kind of has. He's a welder and he's been around construction for a large chunk of his life, but he's never like build a house or a room onto a house. And so he's just kind of been moving this project slowly forward for the last year. And he is so close to the end. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen this completely unfold. This is very exciting times. So on this day, we decided to do our outside grounding time when Dan was working on the house and Logan and I just, you know, hung out, soaked up some sun. It was a little chilly outside. We have had quite a few cold days here in Nashville recently, and he just hung out with the wood. Safety first. So our greenhouse was basically a fail. I've mentioned this before. Well, the greenhouse wasn't a fail, but the whole planting of plants has basically been a fail. Um, I've said this a few times, our chickens basically got in right after we planted the first round of seedlings and tore everything up after it had grown like quite a bit, honestly, it was pretty discouraging. And so we kind of begrudgingly in the cold replanted and then they kind of started to grow again and maybe got like an inch or so above the ground and then the chickens broke in and destroyed them again. So this is our third attempt. It's kind of pointless. I'm not sure why I was so stuck on this, just kind of for experiment's sake. Um, but I think it would have worked had our chickens not destroyed all of the seedlings in the beginning. So this almost doesn't need any narration, but just to give you a little, I don't know, history. At this point, Logan and I made our way upstairs while daddy was finishing painting because it was getting cold. And so I started to fill up our bathtub and set him on the couch near the window with his blanket and a book and his baby. And he was really into it. I'm talking for like 20 minutes, maybe. I don't know. I might be exaggerating a little bit, but it felt like a while. And I had to get my camera out because I just thought he looked so cute. Mm -hmm. 
and there he is being a genius baby, reading an opposites book upside down. So a lot's been going on, but we're staying in the spirit of, you know, the outdoor construction. So the next day when we went out to hang out again while daddy worked, that was my outfit. This was Logan's other puffer because we got him this puffer on sale during Black Friday for like 10 bucks. Very exciting times. We're going to call this an ode to our chickens. Um, I would like to do a chickens video soon in life. A bunch of you guys have requested that we make that happen. Um, it will definitely have to be a we thing, me and Dan, because Dan has spearheaded so much, basically everything involving the chickens, Dan basically handles. So maybe if you guys have any specific questions to help guide the video, you could leave them in the comment section down below. But yeah, it's been really, really fun having chickens. And I mentioned this before, I didn't really think about, I mean, I guess I did, but like having chickens with my baby. Um, but I don't know, it wasn't really real until he got here, obviously. And now seeing him with the chickens is so fun. And like I've said before, hopefully we can expand our animal family because it's just a really fun activity honestly it's cool to see him interact with them i think it's kind of healthy and awesome <laughs> By the way, getting a little bit muddy is like my new favorite pastime now. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like so much of my life, like when I was younger, I spent so much time outside, barefoot, climbing trees, just doing outside things. And as I got older, it's like I didn't even know that the time was passing, I guess, between then and now and not having like my hands in mud. And so with Logan in the spirit of, you know, grounding every day, um, I'm enjoying getting down in the earth and kind of purposefully, you know, making a mess. I mean, not like purposefully making a mess. I'm actually doing something, but not minding if I get a little messy. It's just been fun. So we're moving on to the kitchen because I was craving fries and I think I also mentioned this recently in a video where I kind of tried and then like didn't do it or maybe it was a baked potato or something like that but I really wanted to make legit fries so I didn't really think this through you guys know with my cooking I kind of just like go for it <laughs> figure it out as I go cut a little haphazardly it's fine it's rustic so that is what I was doing and I think these are russet potatoes. So I was following a couple of different YouTube videos, but the main video that I was trying to kind of like go towards recommended boiling the potato strips or the french fries for like five to 10-ish minutes, basically till they're so soft they're going to break. And while those were boiling, I made my way to the living room to stretch for a little bit. I've mentioned this, I don't know where, honestly, I talk so much just in general, I forget where I say things, but I threw my back out maybe a month ago and I'm still recouping. It really stinks, the journey, the struggle, that's life. Um, so I was doing my stretching and Dan was outside continuing to work on the house. So yeah, I just took some time to lay on my back because yeah, man, throwing my back out, like I said, it really threw a kink in my life. 
and I find myself having to just stop a few times a day and just get flat on my back. It's frustrating, but at this point it's necessary. So, you know, why not film yourself just lying on your back? So, the potatoes were boiling away in the pot of water, getting extra soft. Also, I thought I would show you this screenshot of all the different sourdough starters we've been working on. I will be addressing that soon, by the way. I talked about this in the Q&A that I filmed recently that I'm totally going to refilm for a whole bunch of reasons, but I will address that in the upcoming Q&A. So, once I boiled the potatoes, drained them, I put a bunch of olive oil in a pan with the potatoes, and then I baked them in the oven for a while. And once they were done and I pulled them out, this is what I had. I didn't get any like finishing shots, but that's the gist. And as you can see, they were delicious. All right, guys, we're fast forwarding to the next morning where I chopped up some Brussels sprouts and cooked those in a pan with some salt and some oil. By the way, I probably should have told you what I'm making. I'm making an omelet. I have not made an omelet in a while because I've been so obsessed with my own scrambled eggs lately, but I woke up in this morning and I was like, I want to do something different. So I made an omelet. So I was stir frying Brussels sprouts and then I threw in some onions and I think I added some garlic as well at some point. And then at the very end, maybe for the last minute or two, I added some balsamic vinegar and let it kind of simmer down a little bit. Then I cracked some eggs. By the way, these eggs were from our chickens. It has been so exciting getting eggs from the chickens. I know I say that all the time, but it's true. So once I cracked them, I whisked them up with my fork. Oh, that was the balsamic vinegar I used, by the way. Then I poured the egg mixture all over the pan, let it kind of heat up, and then moved it around the pan to fill in the holes and just spread out and create that omelet patty, you know? Also, even if you mess the omelet up, just like roll with it like this. It looks like something fun, right? <laughs> Tell me yes. <laughs> then I decided to scoop some sun-dried tomato hummus that I had left over on the side. Then I added a little bit of olive oil on top just to like rehydrate the hummus. Then I took some of Dan's fresh homemade sourdough bread, which like I said, we will be talking about soon. That's actually probably gonna be another joint Dan video because even though I can make very basic sourdough, Dan is like perfecting it and taking it to a whole other level of deliciousness. So that was my breakfast. Then I decided to brew some white pomegranate tea to pour over ice. And then afterwards, I got dressed and we made our way out into the snow. It has snowed quite a few times here in Nashville recently, which is not super common. And so it's been very exciting. I don't look that excited when I'm modeling in this outfit. I am much more concerned with my modeling and eating the snowflakes. Um, but my back was very uncomfortable. So I was really just trying to like focus on showing off my outfit, which I'm not saying this is a fantastic outfit. I actually don't think that, but that's what I was wearing on this day. And we made our way out just to get out of the house and see the town, see the snow. I think we ran to the post office. And then that afternoon, we had an appointment at my chiropractor's office. Now, I see Dr. Mark Wetzler at East Nashville Chiropractic, but it's kind of a long story. Long story short, you guys will get all of the info soon. This is actually my muscle stimulation machine now. That's a mouthful, but I will have the ability to talk to you guys 
a lot about this therapy in the future. And so Dan was in here working with me and Mark on our machine. So it's very exciting that I own this now. Kind of crazy. Um, anyways, yeah, so we were trading. That's what we did. And it hurt and felt amazing all at the same time. So guys, that is it for this video. I want to pause and give a shout out again to Josie Marin for sponsoring this video. I am so obsessed with your guys' products and so happy to get to work together. You guys have to check them out. I will have their links down in the info box. And with all of that being said, I will hopefully see you guys back here soon with another new video. All right, bye guys.